Hello, my sock universe. It's not often that you see me wearing this jersey, but congratulations, Inter are champions, and for that reason, I'm wearing it. But I'm not wearing it all over. My skin is not touched by Inter. I have a Milan jersey below. A that B, I decided to wear it because I can show all my other Serie A jerseys, and I don't have them up there for until I make the next video, which will be. A while, but you know, into becoming champions, I've made peace for that for um, basically ever since they won the derby. And I think actually the turning point of the season in many ways was the cup derby. You know, Slatan Lukaku. That I think set both teams on their respective paths. I can pretty much say that now, uh, looking in hindsight, this looked to be like a very, very momentous game that didn't seem like all that much at that time. But we don't only have Inter becoming champions. I think uh, we will not talk too much about relegation because uh, we have a relegated team, Crotone, who played Inter. So both kind of going this is the set of separate ways. We have a pretty big game still happening on Monday. I'm doing this just now, um, Monday evening. I do this Monday morning for the simple reason that the other leagues, um, there are more games that are a little bit more momentous. But the uh, top four race, it almost looked like a perfect round for Milan. Yes, Lazio also won, but Napoli dropping points, Atalanta dropping points, and then Juve up until the 82nd was also losing. This would have been the perfect result for me as a Milan fan, because then next weekend I would go a little bit easier in there. But Ronaldo pulls it all out. I would say we jump into the games. Uh, it started with Verona against Spezia, which was an entertaining game. Uh, goal by Lasagna was for offside called off in the fourth minute. Then I think uh, Nzola uh, pushed one in with the hand. Did not work either. So two goals disallowed early on. Uh, I think there was also a huge chance by Salcedo. He hit the woodwork. Uh, he gets his golden after the half to make it 1-0. But Spezia was well in the game and get a uh, deserved equalizer through Saponara in the 86th. As I say, Crotone Inter, this was Crotone needed the points to st uh, still have a fighting chance, although it was not big. And Inter needed the win and Atalanta to drop their points to actually uh, become champ champions. It's the latter what happened, although the game... Although Inter, uh, you know, not having too much trouble. I think uh, Crotone had one shot on goal in the first minute, something like like, like that. Um, it was Inter just playing as they have been playing all, all season. And they get uh, the goal through Eriksen, who had just come on, uh, was assisted by Lukaku. Uh, Lukaku goal was then disallowed, but Hakimi in stoppage time makes it 2-0. And they were not celebrating yet, except for the win, but there were no celebrations yet, because at that time it was not clear. Milan also made it a little bit harder than needed against Benevento. They were a largely better team. They get an early goal. Salamakers assisting Chalnogli with a really nice shot into the lower corner. Uh, yes, Benevento is another team that, uh, a bit like Spezia, plays nicely, but I think they're training really the wrong direction. People making a return to the Sun Zero, unfortunately. You know, I really would wish him all, all the best, but here Milan Phantom comes through and they, they definitely need the point. Uh, they just don't make the goals. I mean, Slatan had a personal duel uh, in, in, in the end. It's a shot of his that was blocked. Hernandez can put into the net and it's 2-0. And from that moment on, that the game then also died down a, a little bit. A vital point, vital three points for Milan. They need to keep them to stay in the running. Uh, although I remain that Milan is probably not the outsider to finish in the top four, given their schedule, either uh, against directly relegation-threatened teams or against head-to-head uh, -head teams uh, for the top four race. So not, not a fun final schedule for the uh, last four games. Hey, Lazio Genoa, if you look at the scoreline, it really looks like it was a tight match. Not that much. It was more like that Lazio allowed Genoa uh, twice back in. Um, the game started up right for Lazio. Then just when you thought it might not, uh, it, it might go into halftime, Kind of with a nil-nil, uh, Correa has, uh, scores a weird goal where he's actually shot it from a uh, Genoa defender and then it rolls in, into net, Immobile converts a penalty. So Genoa very much shooting themselves in, in, in the foot in the first half. Uh, however, Marosic replies with a beautiful angle. I mean, back heeled it in, uh, cannot be better. Well, I think there would have been another striker there, but uh, right off the, off, off the key, Immobile to Luis Alberto, 3-1. 
Korea, a few minutes later, makes a 4-1 and every, everything is smooth sailing. But then within a minute, uh, Skamaka converts a penalty and uh, Shomorodov makes it 4-3, but they cannot find a way back. Bologna Fiorentina, I did not watch the one, but the highlights already were highly entertaining. This was Vlaovic against Palacio. And Palacio has only scored one goal this season. Now he scored a hat-trick. <laughs> um, the first goal came through a Vlaovic penalty, but then Palacio with a really nice uh, Vignato assist makes it 1-1. Uh, and it goes, uh, it was always Fiorentina going ahead and Palacio equal in Bonaventura. This was a really great crossing from Venuti, and you can see Vlaovic is drawing the, in t uh, the Bologna defense completely off track, and Bonaventura can tap it in. However, again, Vignato to Palacio in the 71st makes it 2-2. Uh, then Vlahovic just can pull it in from a uh, short distance for 3-2 in the 75th, and I really think now it's going Fiorentina's way. No, Vignato and Palacio for a third time combine and make it 3-3. I watched Napoli against Cagliari. Ozyman, after a senior assist, wonderful first goal. But the game was rather open. Yes, leaning Napoli, but uh, Cagliari was definitely in the, in, in the game. Uh, Lozano missed a big one, but also Cagliari first half hit the um, upright. Then Diego Demme with a great shot hits the crawl crossbar. But the longer the game went on, I think Ozyman had even... Uh, Goal disallowed where they gave a foul of his, which, yeah, probably, maybe, but, you know. Um, but the longer the game went on, the more Cagliari was in it, and I thought when they got the equal, it was definitely not undeserved, although it came very, very late in the 94th through Nandes, and at that point, it was, yeah, Napoli dropped points, and again, I do not dislike Napoli, but at the moment, I have to think all about Milan. I want Milan to finish in the top four. So uh, all my other allegiances that I have and uh, sympathies go pretty much out of the window at this stage in the season, and I really don't like that. I would like the millions or cruising has the top four spots space secured, and I can uh, root for the other teams that I like. But you know, I'm also not unhappy for Calgary itself because I really think Calgary is a team that belongs into Serie A, Napoli. Yeah, still they seem to be the better better score, but that's definitely points drop. Points dropped also for Atalanta, and this was marked by rather weird refereeing. The sending off for Golini, yes, it was tripping, it was outside of box, and maybe Boga could have cut in and put the ball in, but there was also Romero in there. I'm not sure if he's entirely the last man. I think there was contact, but the red card, they looked at it var, but the referee stays there with it. Probably a little bit, a little bit uh, contentious in the 25th minute. However, Gosens makes the 1-0 for Atalanta. And Atalanta still, uh, despite the man down, largely a better team. Then again, Boga goes down in the box relatively easy. It is a penalty. Again, VAR, it, uh, remains, it remains that way. Uh, Berardi gets his 101st goal. He got a little trophy for 100 goals for Sassuolo ahead of the game. Uh, Locatelli has a goal to this lot, but then Marlon is sent off for another really weird penalty foul. Well, you know, he and um, um, Muriel are both wrestling and fall together on, on the ground. If this was a penalty, yeah, it is given. However, Consili saves it. And that save, Q celebrations in Milan. Atalanta cannot find the winner. It is 1-1 and Inter champions. And despite COVID protocols, Inter fans going on to the Piazza del Duomo in Milan, uh, they also, um, you know, the... the players were celebrating. I think Lukaku posted selfies of him driving through the streets. Inter break the US bell. Congratulations Inter, you are now 19. Milan is 18. I still think Milan will get first to the two stars. But you know, even if it, you know, that it is Inter that breaks the spell, I saw it kind of coming over the last uh, season or so, uh, especially with Conte coming. But yeah, I actually, and I'm going really against my, but I actually maybe it's good to have a different champ, champion for once uh, other than Juventus. Speaking of Juventus, that team was dead and gone. Yesterday, this was a horrendous performance. 
Odine, the power player, really kick free, uh, free kick to Molina in the 10th. It's 1 0 for Odine. There was not much, there was no urgency with you, but this really seemed like there is no life in the team. Until the ball uh, was a free kick game for Juventus, and he, you could see on the wall, he saw that Ronaldo's free kick might go past him, and he goes up with the hand. What a stupid mistake. You give a penalty to uh, Ronaldo, it's a clear penalty, stonewall penalty. He makes it 1-1. Still, I would have liked to see you with drop, but, you know. But it was not all that. Ronaldo takes over, over the game. And uh, Rabio with one of his few things that they added, well, a great cross in. And Ronaldo puts it onto the goal and between the legs of, of the goalkeeper into that. A big ladder for you. And I think this might might give you with a spark to actually really get this top four spot uh, with Ronaldo getting back on the scoring sheet and you could see the sad celebration this was really meant a lot to them and then in hot take best jersey matchup in Serie A Roma and Sampdoria I really think those two together that if they play in their first jerseys is the best matchup Jer jersey matchup in Serie A Roma actually was not that bad, but you know, if your goalkeeper, reserve goalkeeper, uh, plays out a weird ball to Th Thorsby and then Adrian Silva can make it 1 0, doesn't help. Uh, also, a goal by Jacob was not, not, not given. Um, another one was not given later, it was already 2 0 through Yankto. And then uh, Jacob even misses a penalty. Roma really, really, really trending in the wrong direction. Uh, and I really, really think with all the injuries and problems that they have with change of stuff that you are about to fire Fonseca just does not seem quite right. It is not a fair chance. Uh, even at Old Trafford, they didn't play that badly. But you know, circumstances. So now in the table, I mean, the biggest thing is that Juve and Milan take over Napoli, but it's still 69, 69, 69, 67, and there could be another 67 if Lazio wins their makeup game, which is, I think, in the before the last round of the season, I don't quite get why they're not playing it this uh, week, but you see Lazio has an outside chance, but the ones that really have the big chances are Atalanta, uh, Juve, and Na Napoli. As I said, Milan has a really tough schedule. They have to go to Juve, they have to go to Atalanta, and then they play uh, Cagliari and Torino. Um, all not easy, and I think they have to play it twice. I know they are, yeah, and they have to play twice, uh, you know, in Turin within a, a week or so. It's a tough road. It's really, 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 really a tough road. Uh, Cagliari at the moment just ahead of Torino, but you know, with the game in uh, hand, Torino could move out there. On the, on the bottom, Crotone is gone. Benevento, um, has a small chance, but it doesn't look good for them. Expect extends, you see that Torino would still stay ahead of Calgary, but uh, Calgary looking not that bad at the moment. Um, and it says so much in the expected extends, Benevento, Parma and Crotone are the, are the ones expected to go down. We have already champions up top. Atalanta very heavily favored to, to go in and Milan only expected to finish in fifth at the moment. Hurts a little bit, but yeah. Probably ahead of the season, I would have said Milan is, is probably the fifth best team uh, some, somewhere around, around there. Just the way the season went, didn't go. It all will hinge on Sunday evening. Juve Milan. I think that's that's a big, big, big match. I think the winner will go into the top four. Uh, the loser probably will have a hard time fighting. And I know how those Juve Milan games go. I can tell you right now, Milan will have a great performance will fail the score and then probably Dybala or Ronaldo will come on and score a goal out of nowhere. This has been the movie all along. This is what I'm expecting there. Uh, where could other teams drop? Spezia, Napoli. Um, yeah, there they have been points dropped earlier. I don't think this time. Um, Fiorentina, Lazio, don't really see it. Atalanta, Parma, don't really see it as, as well. So this could really be a big turning point in the season. What do you think? First of all, what do you think about Inter's champions? What, what, who, who, who do you think will finish in the top four? I think I'm also going with the top four that uh, my model spits out. So I would like to hear from you in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, 
Here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye!